Hey guys, Dallas Gay with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This one is going to be Light Blue O Intense. Now before we jump into this video, guys, make sure you give this video a like. That way I know you guys are enjoying the content. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And with that, let's go and jump right into this. I know Light Blue Italian Salad Dressing came out. Uh, but I'm just gonna be reviewing O Intense right here. I haven't smelled the new one yet, and from what I've heard, it's not really anything too impressive, so I'll probably hold off on that for a while, but I was able to pick this one up for a really good price, so I figured I might as well grab it and review it. So talking about how this fragrance smells, the main notes you get are gonna be kind of aquatic sea notes. You're gonna get some grapefruit, some orange. You're gonna get a little bit of musk, a little bit of amber wood, and really it's a pretty simplistic note breakdown there's not too much to this fragrance this one is an edp whereas the original is an edt so there was definitely a lot of speculations when this first came out regarding if it's stronger how much different it is and basically this one has taken the original dna and they've really made small tweaks to it. It's a little bit less salty. It does last a decent amount on my skin because this is a fresh aquatic fragrance. It's not something that's gonna be overly beast mode by any means, but it does last a good amount of time. And it does have a really nice, pleasant smell to it. It's got a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of the saltiness is there, but you definitely do pick up a little bit of that grapefruit, a little bit of that orange and citrus when you first spray it on. And then to dry down, you still do get that nice aquatic, slightly salty sea vibe, and you get a little bit of musk creeping in there too. Overall, it's a very pleasing scent from the beginning to the dry down. There's nothing overly unique about this fragrance, and it's really not that much different than the original EDT version. Um, like I said, it's a little bit less salty, which I actually prefer the saltiness. This one isn't going to be as salty as like the original and the Living in Stromboli flanker of this as well. Those two have a decent amount of sea salt in them. So for those of you that weren't a fan of that note, you might want to pick this one up. But for those of you that do like the sea saltiness, myself included, I am a little bit disappointed that they took some of that out because I am a fan of those sea salty marine type fragrances. So overall, I think what they did here was they basically made it just a little bit more refined. They smoothed it out a little bit. Uh, performance is, like I said, about the same, if not a little bit better. Again, nothing overly mind-blowing for this fragrance. They did do a good job. And by them toning down the saltiness, I think it makes it just a little bit more mass appealing, just a little bit more pleasing because that saltiness can be off-putting to some people. And I know some people say that you know certain aquatic fragrances can turn into like an egg type smell on their skin and that's not something you want when you're trying to impress people so again there aren't too many main differences i do think that this one is a solid release i love this dna it's a very very good one this will be perfect for casual wear in the spring in the summer summer especially um, on days when it's really hot maybe you're going to the beach maybe you're going to the pool things like that would be a good time to wear this one now if i were to tell you which one you should buy really that kind of is up to you if you like the saltiness the more saltiness i would go with the original if you like a little bit more of a refined slightly stronger yet not quite as salty version of it then you could go with this one i'll actually leave a link down below to my ebay page i am going to be decanting some of this you can grab a decant there if you want to but definitely worth trying this one is available at discounters now for a pretty solid price i was able to pick this one up for like 30 35 dollars on facebook uh, tester and by the way the testers do come with the cap and that goes for if you're ordering from FragranceNet or on eBay or Facebook the testers of these do come with caps so you can pick a tester up no problem overall I think it's worth checking out like I said I'll leave a link down below where you can grab yourself a sample if you want to but this will be a very nice one to have for the summer a nice light citrusy fragrance just to throw on go out have some fun type of thing like I said really good for casual wear when it's pretty warm you can't go wrong with this one this one will get you compliments as well as with the other light blue fragrances um, it will be a pretty good compliment getter for people who like this type of scent and it's just overall a nice mass pleasing scent and it is a little bit more of a refined slightly different take on the edt the original overall i'm pretty happy with it plus you can't beat that nice frosted glass bottle looks really cool so that's just a quick little review, my thoughts on Light Blue O Intense. Made it a little bit quicker, a little bit more of a quick review this time. Be looking forward to a few other cool reviews. Also, I ordered a new fragrance that will be coming next week. I'll do a review on 
Um, it's a new release, no one has talked about it yet, just a little hint, so definitely make sure you stick around for the upcoming videos, got a lot of stuff coming, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah guys, I think that's about all I have. Like I said, I opened up a Patreon page as well, I announced that in my last video. You can go check that out if you want to, all the details about what you can expect to see are on that page. You can watch a video uh, where I explain the different tiers. You can read the different tiers. There's a lot of great stuff that's going to be pumping out on there soon. So definitely worth checking out. As always, guys, you know what to do.